Hey riders, welcome to another video in our Adventure Motorcycle Gear Review Series. I'm Eric Lang with Ride Adventures. I've been riding and guiding motorcycle trips around the world and here in the Pacific Northwest for over 10 years now. Today's video, we're gonna compare two popular motorcycle phone mounts against each other. Ram's X-Grip against their Quick Grip and let you know which one's best for you. You missed. <laughs> Small target. You know, we depend on our smartphones plenty these days and with the great GPS functions already built into them, might as well use them for our motorcycle trips as well. But if you're gonna do so, you gotta make sure your phone is securely mounted. You obviously don't wanna lose it. It's gotta be quick and easy to use too. So let's go through the pros and the cons of both of these mounts made by Ram and I think I can help you decide which one's best for you. So let's talk about the one pro about Ram's X-Grip is that as many of you have reported and commented in our previous reviews of it, yes, it does ultimately hold a smartphone in its place. Most of the time. Which brings me to the cons, and that's that it doesn't always keep a phone in its place. As we can show you with some footage from Thailand, if you don't take the time to secure all four corners of the rubber band and you hit just the right bump, your phone could be ejected and lost. And it's those four corners that can actually break over time. That rubber band is subject to the elements and sun and they do dry out and they do break on riders. So you can lose the ability to properly secure your phone and therefore lose it that way. The four rubber corners that are included with the mount are supposed to be glue, super glued on. Ours didn't come with super glue and many of you have reported losing years as well. So uh, as you can see, we've lost some of the rubber corner pieces on ours which further adds to the possibility that the mount won't keep your phone in place. If you are, however, using all four corners of the rubber band the way it's supposed to be used, well then the four corners of your screen are blocked too. And that's a problem for today's menu options and things that you might be grabbing from the corners of your screen. And just the way the mount is designed with these side grip points, those four rubber corners, you've ultimately blocked possibly some of your volume buttons or other switches that might be on the side of your phone. And on top of all this, because of the complicated rubber bands and corners and things like that that I mentioned, this thing is ultimately, in my opinion, very slow and not easy to use. If you're riding and you see a wildlife photo opportunity and you wanna grab that shot, I've found myself ignoring it at the end of a long day when I've gone rubber band on, rubber band off. So many times throughout the day, ultimately I just kind of ignore the photo opportunity sometimes. So it's a good thing Ram did come out with another one. Their Quick Grip is a great improvement over this older model. So the Quick Grip is fast and easy to use, not only to install on your bike, but once you're actually putting your phone into the mount, it's just super fast, super easy. You'll never miss a photo opportunity because of being slow in and out of your mount. It leaves all four corners of your screen accessible because there's no rubber bands or anything going over it to block all of that. Because of the options to move these holding brackets into different positions, you also can align the mount so that it does not obstruct any of the buttons on the side of your phone, giving you full access to all your features and functions. And so far today, we have no failures in riding this thing in some pretty hard and rugged riding conditions. Never seen an ejection yet. Ultimately, this phone mount does exactly what it's supposed to do and has performed really well for us. The one con, the downside, I could mention about the Quick Grip was just that it was sort of cumbersome and difficult to put together and that it came with a bunch of extra screws with no instructions on how to put it together. I couldn't actually at the time find any online resources or videos explaining it, so not a major issue. Just the assembly did take about 20 minutes and was a little bit frustrating with no instructions or guidance on how to assemble this thing. So as many of you have commented, the Ram X-Grip is working well for you, and that is great. For me, the choice is obvious. They're quick grip to me, the superior product. Faster and easier to use, it would be the one on my bike. So if you wanna check these products out, look for the links in the description area below. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notifications button so you can see other videos we have coming up and also let us know what it is you wanna learn about. What should we review next? So thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next video.